Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and in this video, we will be taking a look at JotForm versus Google Forms. Now, the first major difference between JotForm and Google Forms is going to be that JotForm costs and Google Forms doesn't. This is going to be a huge deal breaker for most people, but it needs to be said right at the start. So JotForm right here, like yes, you can get access to this free account. Uh, you can get a 30 day free trial as well if you use the top link in the description. But essentially, this free trial is going to give you access to five forms, 100 monthly submissions, which basically means 100 people per month can fill in your form. So yeah, it's very, very limited in terms of what we can get with this free plan. Then with bronze, we basically get 1,000 monthly submissions, 25 forms that we can create. Silver is 50 forms with 2,500 monthly submissions. And then gold is 100 forms with 10,000 monthly submissions. Google Forms is just free. You can create unlimited forms, you can get unlimited monthly submissions, and it is all completely free. The only thing that you do need is a Google account, but once again, that is free to create. In terms of the actual software, JotForm versus Google Forms, JotForm is a lot better, depending on what you are using it for. For example, if we just want to come in here and create a blank form, and we are just creating like literally a step-by-step -step form, like this, and we don't need it to be anything fancy, we just need to send it to somebody for them to answer questions, then there is really no point in paying for JotForms. However, where JotForms does come in is if you need a professional looking form. So where I would use Google Forms is if this was like internally within my company, I can save a little bit of money there. But if I was sending like outbound forms to like clients or people I'm trying to sell on something, then Google Forms just does look very cheap. If I go into the template gallery right here, you can see these are some of the templates that we can get with Google Forms. Now, they don't necessarily look bad, but they don't blow you away. Like you can tell this was created on a free software. Whereas with JotForm, first of all, they have 10,000 different templates to choose from, whereas Google has maybe 20. Like these are all of them right here. And you can see on JotForm, there are just so many different types of forms that we can create. So straight away, like a product order form where we literally have products, we can collect money from PayPal. This just isn't an option on Google Forms. The only thing that we really can do is create these super basic forms on Google. So if we need to create like a party invite or an event registration, event feedback, Google Forms is cool and I would use it because it's free. But if we need these more advanced forms, like a hotel booking form, if you are using this as a hotel company, like a restaurant order form, you just can't do these types of things on Google Forms. Another very important aspect of JotForm is, if I just click into one of these, is you can actually take payments through JotForm. So we do need to set this up and configure, which I haven't done in this example, but we can essentially go down and people can pay directly through JotForm. So we have debit or credit card, we have PayPal, we have like Google and Apple Pay. We have all of these different options right here. Stripe, Authorize, Braintree, Afterpay, Clearpay. We can choose all of these payment methods. Whereas with Google Forms, I guess technically you could do this. Like you could grab like a, a PayPal link. I guess we could come into like the form description and you could add a PayPal link right here. But once again, it, re it really doesn't look professional at all. Like if somebody sent me a form and it had a PayPal link at the top, I would be very sketched out by that. Whereas with JotForm, it's like very professional. Like you can come in, they have the PayPal button. It's going to take them over to the PayPal checkout. So once again, it really depends on what you are going to be using this for. The JotForm builder is absolutely beautiful. Like we can click and edit any of these sections. So instead of product order form, I'll just call it the GeForce North store. We can go in, we can add like logos, we can add images, we can go down, we can customize these different product areas by clicking into products. We can click here, we can go into product list and create different products that we want to sell on this form. We can set up coupons, we can set up shipping, tax, invoice, all of these different options. For now, let's actually just go back to JotForm. Because another thing that we can set up with JotForm that we can't with Google Forms is going to be integrations. So we can set up so many different integrations with JotForm. For example, if we are using Salesforce, which I know is an absolutely huge CRM, if you and your company are using Salesforce, then we can connect these. So as you can see right here, we have like a sales contact form. So if I just go back over to this section, 
we could create like a contact form right here. And then once we have this connected with Salesforce, it's going to automatically send it into the CRM. So the customer fills out the contact form and it's instantly added into Salesforce, instantly added into the CRM. This is not really something you could do with Google. I mean, you might be able to with Zapier. I'm not 100% sure. That's just a guess because Zapier is a very big tool. You might be able to do that with Zapier. But once again, you're going to be buying a software there. So it kind of eliminates the fact that Google is free because you would need to connect that up. But we can connect up Google Sheets. We can connect up Constant Contact, which is like an email form. We can connect up Trello, Pipedrive. And we can see that there are just so many different softwares that we can connect up. Whereas this is not really an option with Google Forms. Another thing that we can do with JotForm, and it kind of does move away from forms, but what we can do is we can also create contracts. So we can click in and create signed document. We could use a template right here. And if you have any contracts at your company that you are going to be sending out to clients, well, we can do this inside of JotForm. So this might be your first time ever seeing a software like this. Or alternatively, you might already be using a software like Pandadoc and switching over to JotForm could take away the need for that. So this is built in. You don't have to pay any extra for this. But what we could do is find a contract right here. Like let's just say consulting. We can see like a consulting contract right here. We can use template. We can then go in when this actually decides to load. We can go in edit template and change this to say what we need it to say. We can change the logo, edit all of the text right here, then save and exit. Fill this all out with these different categories like the date. We can add these all here from elements. Make sure we have at the bottom the signature. And then all we have to do is basically go to publish. Fill this out with the client you want to send this to. Send to sign. And then you can also get them to sign contracts right here. Once again, this is not an option with Google Forms. Some of the things that we can also do on JotForm is we can create tables, we can create apps, like this is a no-code app builder. And some of these apps, probably most of them are going to be redundant, like you probably won't need them. But some of them can be very, very handy. We have like a store builder, uh, an inbox for your emails, a PDF editor, a report builder, all of these different options. So it's not just the forms that you are getting with JotForm, it's all of these other options. But with that aside, if we are strictly speaking about forms, then it goes back to what I said at the beginning. JotForm is going to be a lot better, a lot more professional, and you can do a lot more things. Whereas Google Forms is a lot simpler, it's a lot more basic, but it's also completely free. So that is my comparison of JotForm versus Google Forms. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.